More arrests at the abandoned skyscrapers in downtown LA that have become a magnet for taggers. But they keep coming and there's still no long term fix for the problem. I would assume where Christian Cordero is live in downtown with more on the story. Christian. David Allen, we're at LA Live right now where you have the Kobe Bryant statue right over my shoulder in front of Crypto.com Arena, the Grammy Museum around the corner, and LA's newest landmark, which officials say is famous for all the wrong reasons. Towering over downtown Los Angeles is a 27-story, half-done complex that over the past few weeks has become a siren call for social media stunts, and LA Mayor Karen Bass has had enough of it. I am terrified that someone is going to fall or be pushed. You might know that there are people who are parachuting off of the building. Exhibit A. In this Instagram reel, you can see people walk right up to the edge, then jump off. They're crazy. You know, I wouldn't do that. I'm scared of heights, so I wouldn't get all the way up there. That was posted late January, around the time people familiar with the buildings started noticing the graffiti, which has spread to all four sides and just about every floor. The LAPD continues to arrest people who trespass onto the would-be condos known as Oceanside Plaza. Chief Michael Moore said over the weekend, officers recovered spray paint cans and an illegal firearm during its latest arrests. Last week, he called this a worldwide issue, saying people are traveling to L.A. to leave their mark. The Grammys just made it blow up, and then now it's just, even now, now, now people that do graffiti, now they want to be there, you know, because it's, it's on social media, so it, it gets their name out there. Do you mind it? Do you not? Uh, I mean, I'm from L.A. I see it all the time. The city's ask is simple. They want to clean the complex up and secure it from future trespassers. Actually, doing so is more complicated, especially without cooperation from its developers, who abandoned the project in 2020. The owner of the building should be held accountable, and he should reimburse the city for every dime that is spent. The Chinese company that was developing this complex went bankrupt. The city vows it'll build them if they don't start cleaning it up in about a week. We're live in downtown L.A. I'm Christiane Cordero, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Chris Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.